what are the signs and symptoms of mitral regurgitations. So what is mitral regurgitations? Mitral regurgitations is the backflow of blood through the mitral valve. And the mitral valve is located between the left atrium and the left ventricles. The heart is divided into four different chambers. Uh, what we have is the, um, the right side and the left side. The right side is divided into right atria, atriums and the right ventricle. The left side is divided into the left atriums and the left ventricle. And this is the tricuspid valve is located between the right atrium and the right ventricle, whereas the mitral valve is located between the left atrium and the left ventricle. Mitral regurgitations is caused by the backflow of blood through this valve right here, the mitral valve. The blood is flowing, instead of flowing forward from the left atrium into the left ventricle, uh, blood is uh, in uh, mitral valve regurgitations, blood will actually flow back through this valve right here. And there are certain causes, diseases that cause um, the backflow of uh, the blood in that order. So the main one would be the primary valve disease. We have rheumatic heart disease or infective endocarditis or trauma. The second one uh, can be congenital, which is Morphin's syndromes. And the third group would be other cardiac conditions such as ischemic heart disease, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So what are the symptoms? The symptoms include exertional dyspnea or fatigue, which is one of the most common symptoms that is presented in patients who have mitral regurgitations. This is because there is um, a decrease in cardiac output because what happened is that instead of blood flowing from the right atrium into the uh, um, left atrium into the left ventricle and out to the aortic valve and into the aorta right here. So we have a decrease in cardiac output because instead of going in this direction, um, blood is actually back flowing uh, through the mitral valve into the um, left atrium. So there would be less of oxygenated blood going uh, going into the aorta and supply the body, the tissues, the organs with uh, with oxygenate with oxygenated blood. So we have um, uh, dyspnea and fatigue, exertional dyspnea, because when we do activities, we require require more oxygen, our, our body requires more oxygen and the body is not supplying enough oxygen so that's why we um, uh, have uh, exertional dyspnea and fatigue. The second symptoms is dry cough. So why do we have dry cough? Because, um, because when what happened is that when blood is back flowing through the left atrium and from the left atrium it will uh, go back to the pulmonary uh, pulmonary veins pulmonary veins will back flow towards the uh, uh, the lungs and it causes a pulmonary congestion so a lot of those blood will be uh, con uh, become congested, uh, stays in, in the lungs, and that will uh, increase the hydrostatic pressure. Increase in hydrostatic pressure will um, causes edema, edema, um, which this, uh, both of these are signs of severe um, diseases resulting from the left ventricular dysfunctions. 
the signs that uh, we look for in um, mitral regurgitations or uh, hallocystolic murmur on auscultations. Why is it hallocystolic murmur? Because um, what happens is that when the heart contracts, when the heart hallocystolic, so when the heart contracts, it's supposed uh, when the heart contracts, blood in the left atrium is supposed to go through uh, was supposed to be ejected into the uh, the um, the aorta through the aortic valve, but because there is an inc uh, incompetence, the mitral valve incompetence, so that's why blood is going through the mitral valve during systolic phase. And it's uh, hollow systolic because it's will the, um, the mitral valve regurgitations occur throughout the uh, systolic phase of uh, the cycle right here. And um, it is best heard over the apex, and it usually radiates to the axilla. Uh, 